What is up guys? Welcome to your 8th, I think it's your 8th at least, who's counting? Welcome to your 8th JavaScript tutorial, and in this tutorial, uh, uh, I'm adjusting right now. Probably should have done that before I started. Then again, I probably should have found out what tutorial I'm doing too. But anyways, welcome to your 8th tutorial in JavaScript, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about how to use multiple parameters with your function. So let's go ahead and make a function right now. And I'm going to name mine apples because I'm kind of in the mood for some applesauce right now. And let's go ahead and give it two parameters. In order to give it two parameters, inside your parentheses, instead of just writing the name of one variable, you write the name of however many variables you need separated with a comma. So if you have two variables, you separate them with one comma. So I have a variable, I have a variable called one, and I have a variable called two. Now inside the body of my function, let's go ahead and use both of those variables. Um, document write, we'll just go ahead and write something like one is better than, and I actually need some spaces, is better than add two. So now you can see that this is where I taught you guys how to add strings to variables. This is one instance where it would come in handy. And another cool thing that I didn't teach you guys yet, but anytime you add a string of a HTML tag or XHTML tag, it actually will treat that not as text but actually treat that as the tag itself so whenever it comes across this right here it's actually gonna break aka move you to the next line so that's a neat little trick that you guys might want to remember so anyways we have a function called apples so now let's go ahead and actually call or use this function and in order to call a function you just go ahead and type the function name anywhere in your program and then you write what other information that it needs. So this function, we already know it needs two pieces of information. So let's give it two pieces of in information. Um, I'm gonna give it my name as a variable, and as the other variable it needs, I'm gonna give it the name of my cousin, Hobart. So let's go ahead and save this, and refresh, and see what we get. Bucky is better than Hobart. So what it did is, it said, all right, we have this function, that takes two pieces of information. So whenever we're running our program and we said that we want to use this information, it's going to say, all right, what variable are you going to use as number one? Okay, Bucky, got it. Now what variable are you going to use is the variable two? Hobart, got it, check. So Bucky is better than Hobart. Makes sense, you gave us both the pieces of information we need, we're good to go. So we can also call this function multiple times and it you know runs the same exact way so um, let me think of some bands counting crows is better than I don't know Bieber and let's go ahead and write like a strawberry is better than coconut by the way guys nice little piece of information I absolutely hate coconuts. I can't stand the smell of it. I can't stand the sight of it. I can't even wash my hair with coconut shampoo. It makes me gag. So if I ever see you, you know, walking down the street and you have coconuts, then, uh, you know, don't be discouraged that I don't talk to you. It's not you. It's the coconuts. So let's go ahead and save this, refresh it, and see what we get. Bucky is better than Hobart. Counting Crows is better than Beaver. Should be our better. Strawberry is better than coconut which is true. All of these things are true. So anyways, back to our program. What it did is it substitute the first one for one, and the second one for two, and then inside our function, it just substituted those variables for whatever we had out here. And again, these are called the parameters, and whenever we're giving this information or substituting it, it's called passing information into your parameters. So again, if you're watching these tutorials because you were taking a JavaScript class at school and you couldn't understand your teacher, that's the questions that they're going to ask on the test, and that's the information that you need to know. Parameters, passing it in. So there you go. But if you're just watching this, then uh, don't even worry about it. As long as your program works, you're good to go. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out my website, my other videos. And don't forget to check me out if you see me on the street. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next tutorial.